Miss Nicole here, and you're probably wondering what we're doing today. Let's see, we have Kool-Aid, we have flour, salt, water, and oil. Can you guess what we're doing? You guessed it. We are making Play-Doh. So I've actually gone ahead and mixed the ingredients just, just to save time, but you'll need one cup of flour, you'll need a tablespoon of vegetable oil, any oil will do. You need half a cup of salt, a teaspoon of cream of tartar, one cup of water, and heat it till about, I don't know, I put mine on three minutes. That should be good, two or three minutes. Um, and a pack of Kool-Aid of your choice. I like Kool-Aid, but you can use food coloring too. Um, I think the major difference is, I think with Kool-Aid, you get a nice scent. Um, and I think it colors better than food coloring. But with food coloring, you had an option of um, making your um, Play-Doh without any coloring and then dividing it up and adding a food coloring at the end so that you can have different colors, but not have to do an entirely different batch. So, but I, I like Kool-Aid, so that's what we're using. We're using a Tropical Punch, okay? So, like I said, I've already gotten started with my dry ingredients because you always mix your dry. I don't think it's best to mix your dry ingredients first. Um, I've done it different ways, but this, this creates a better product, okay? And I've heated my water, which you need to ask a grown-up to do so that you don't burn yourself, okay? Remember in school... I would always do this step and I will let you guys pick one of the other steps to put, put in the bowl, right? Okay, so let's add our water. Okay. And then once you do that, it's just mixing. It's just mixing from this point. First with the spoon and it's going to be really like gummy and sticky first. You mix that up. And it's still pretty warm, so that's why you have to let an adult do it. Someone older, big sister, grandma, granddad, babysitter. Mix it up really well. And this is what it looks like right now. You can see that. I was trying to go to a part of the house where the lighting was the best, but it's about as good as it's going to get. Hopefully you guys can see this. Now, it's it's still pretty warm. Um, this feels actually pretty good. Sometimes, even though you go by the recipe, you know, it'll get like, sometimes it's too wet and you have to add more flour. If that ever happens, that's, that's just add a little more flour and it'll be okay until it's the consistency you like. But this is actually pretty perfect, I must say. So once it gets, uh, once you've stirred it, and it's like forming a ball like this, <laughs> like this. You can kind of just take it out and start to knead it, which is just a fancy word for squeezing and patting it down. And Yes, this would be perfect if we were in school. I'd be very proud of this one. <laughs> Not too oily, which also can be helped by, uh, if it's too oily, you can also add more flour. And that will kind of balance it out. Guys, this is perfect. I, I wish we were in school. I really miss making Play-Doh with you all. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do that really soon. Oh, and it smells so good. Another thing that I like to do, um, I like to add different spices, like depending on the season. So like it's fall and it's, it's Halloween too for those who celebrate it. So sometimes around this time of the year, I would add um, maybe cinnamon or cloves. Those are like fall scents, things like that. Uh, warm scents, uh, ginger and um, then I will color it, like I said, orange or maybe brown. Even um, I've even used cocoa, believe it or not, even though, you know, it's better for drinking. But it, it's nice and play though, like for the sensory experience. So it's just a thought. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We have Plato. And again, if we ran school, I'd divide it up amongst my friends. Look, Allie would get one. <laughs> Tony would get some. And whoever else was at the table with us. That's it. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure some of you are going to be making this. So I would love to see those videos of you guys making Play-Doh. Please post those for us to see. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, me and my son are going to enjoy uh, playing with this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye-bye.